Hi guys, my name is Tashank Bolagadi and I'm going to be showing you today how to create an animation tree. Um, this should pick up where I left off in the last tutorial. You have a skeletal mesh and an animation set for that skeletal mesh to import it into UDK. So the first thing we want to do is go to our content browser and create a new animation tree. Um, this tree will allow us to animate the character depending upon the situation the character is in. So um, what that will do is blend various animations together based upon that situation and blending by um, numbers so that it smoothly animates between one and, from one animation to the next. Um, for our preview mesh, we're going to go ahead and click on the preview mesh list and add um, a preview mesh. Um, go ahead and click that plus sign to add a new item and expand and you should be able to get down to that skeletal mesh. And we're just going to go over to the a content browser and pop over our skeletal mesh that we're using. You should see it appear in the anim tree editor on the left side. You can just go ahead and zoom in and take a look at that. And we also want to import, or sorry, pop over our animation set list. So go ahead and click the plus line on that, expand, and click the plus sign again. And eventually you'll get down to the point where you can click on the animation set that you're using. Um, go ahead and click that on that in the content browser and just pop it right over. Okay, um, with that you should be able to see the animation sets uh, that are available to use for this tree um, on the drop down menu at the top. And we're ready to build a simple tree. Um, one thing I like to do is to build a simple blend by physics tree. So click animation node blend by physics and this will have the character animate depending upon what kind of physics situation it's in. So today I just want to do a simple walking uh, physics animation tree. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect those two together and I'm going to go ahead and add a new skeletal animation node blend by speed. Um, in this situation whether the character is walking slowly I want or not walking at all I would want it to be idle whereas if um, the character is walking even at a little bit amount of speed, I want it to be walking quickly. There are only there is only one child for that um, node, so I want to add a second child, one for idle and one for walking quickly, by right-clicking that node and clicking Add Input. So now I'm ready to put my idle sequence. So right-click and uh, add an animation sequence. Click on the animation sequence node that once you made it, and then you can use the drop-down menu to name what animation sequence goes with that node. So you can see I just went ahead and put a wave there. So then for when I'm walking by speed, one thing I like to do is add an animation node blend by direction or blend directional. So from here, I've got the animation node blend by speed and the character is walking, but I want to further subdivide that by the direction the person is moving in. So I'm going to go ahead and click a new animation node animation sequence. And uh, for this one, I'm going to put my walking. Now theoretically what you would do is have your artist have different animations for when the character is walking forward, left, right, and backwards. But since I only have one walk forward, I'm just going to use that for now as a placeholder and I can add the other ones later. Um, so I can go ahead and collect that to all four directions. And the good thing about the blend directional is that it will not just simply switch between one animation sequence and the next, um, forward, backward, left, and right. It will actually blend them together. So if you're walking in at a diagonal, it will take a mix of two animation sequences to make the animation that comes out perfectly smooth. So I'm going ahead and click on the root node um, and click on the little eye in the corner to preview the animation. And the animation nodes that are currently being used um, as defined by the slider bars um, are glowing in orange. I'm going to go ahead and show that skeleton real quick in case you need to see that. Um, but once you have the skeleton and the animation tree um, built, you can drag the slider bars back and forth. So here I have to drag the slider bar for speed forward. So now my character is supposedly moving at a fast speed. And here I can uh, drag the slider bar to represent what, the, what direction my character is in 360 degrees. And you will see um, as you slide that back and forth, the different animation sequences highlight in the orange. Uh, so once you have that, you should have your animation tree ready to go and to be used by a programmer in code or Kismet to have your animation react depending on the situation. 